All right, y'all, good morning. It's the Ass Crack of Dawn. Welcome to the Speed Bug Channel. It's about 7.20 in the morning. I'm out here coming up to the pad here to so show you guys some of the progress and stuff that's be done. As you can hear, my neighbor's wonderful rooster. So here's the pad. We have it all formed up for now. Uh, this is, you know, I haven't really given a big update on this, but uh, so now that we have the pad, it is all tarped. Uh, we went another inch on the concrete itself to the base of the floor off of the architects and the ones that want to know out there. Uh, it was going to be uh, five inches and then it is another five inches down where the uh, lifts will go. As you can kind of see where those holes are right there. So where the lifts will be, it'll be about 10 inches of concrete. And you want to ask why so heavy, I mean, excuse me, why so much concrete there? Well, because I do have the dually and the 3500. And when I do both those lifts to the ground, I don't, when I'm swinging on them, if I have to work on them for any reasons, when I lift those trucks up, one is 10,000 pounds. I don't want to have any issues. Uh, I did expand the shop a little bit. Um, it was going to be a uh, 32 by 42. Uh, it is or excuse me, 30 by 40. It is no longer going to be that um, What it will be now is a 56 by 34 so um, It's actually gonna be quite a little bit bigger and then I'll build the carports and stuff later uh, Later on for the trailer and stuff to come in, but this is the update as of 730. So um, They just uh, finished all this up here last night and uh, concrete will be here uh, within an hour or so so uh, I'll be sure to film the next part of that uh, once the concrete comes and a uh, couple days to dry and then we'll get some more dirt out here so that uh, we can finally finish this and then start to do all the yard work and the grade work to uh, start to get the building here pass the final inspection and then call in the people to wreck the building see you guys soon there we go Oh, he's messing up my yard. So it just finished pouring. And he's got the trial machine on top. Doing his little wishy-washy stuff. And, uh, yeah. We got all the damn cement trucks done. Tow up my damn yard. Whatever. Shit it is what it is. All right, everybody. So here we go. The uh, pad is now in and complete. Do some extra rocks and crap that I had hanging around in the yard. Kind of used it as some filth, bury it. Acts as a nice base. For the ones wondering how thick the uh, pad is in itself, the pad itself is 11 inches from where the pad is. And then as we walk, on to the pad where the pad goes down uh, it's going to have two garage doors and two spots where lifts will be so there'll be one there one here pretty much one where i'm standing and one over there and it is an additional another five to six inches down uh, so you're looking at a total of about a foot of concrete now you ask why and why is it uh, going to be so thick and so deep well because i do plan on also lifting my 450 
and that truck is 9,000 pounds and I want to make sure that if I have to beat on it or swing on it, once I install a 14,000 pound lift, that there will not be any issues or that shit ain't coming out the ground. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. For an extra, you know, thousand bucks or so for me to pour a little bit of extra concrete, now's the time to do it. So I just wanted to give you all a update on this. Uh, and again, for the ones that are still wondering and asking, the size of the pad is uh, 54 by 32. So should be a pretty good size shop. And uh, now it's time to get the permits and the ball rolling and going on all of the landscape for my big parking lot and stuff out there, awnings and uh, get this building uh, going up. So thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you guys updated along the way and uh, we will uh, talk to you sooner than later.